All right, guys, this is my modified knockout. It is not where I want it to yet because I'm still waiting on my uh, knockout upgrade spring to come. I got a 14 kg from um, AK Blaster Mod. I don't know why I keep forgetting them. Uh, from AK Blaster Mods and uh, some shipping issues happened. Um, but should be here later this month, I'm hoping. Um, so, I modified it to take mags, it's mag fed with a removable mag, and you cycle the breach by moving the barrel out and in. And I'm having some feeding issues right now, I need to sand some more stuff and refine it. But, it's pretty good, it's pretty accurate right now, um, decent enough power. And... I've been posting it a little bit on Reddit and Instagram. Lots of people are curious about the internals and honestly, they are <laughs> fucking simplistic. <laughs> Dead simple. We built this. How long did it take us? For an this? hour. It took us an hour to do it. Whilst, whilst we were like shifting who was playing video games and who was working on the blaster, it took us maybe an hour and 15 minutes. Like if you guys really want, we can do a mod guide on this. But, um, it's, it's really simple. Um, honestly, I'll show you in a little bit, but you just have to cut, like, six things. And, then you're done. Um, you're gonna have to super glue some stuff. You can do it a little bit more complicated than the way did it. we did it. Uh, we're sure there's a way that you can keep the cycling with the barrel it's just difficult it's to difficult. get the spring several people have like tried to get uh mag fed breaches and whatnot like prickly's nerf mod on instagram and whatnot we sort of looked at what he was doing but basically because of how the spring is underneath the barrel it's hard to have a, a magazine there and then put the spring somewhere else and you can't really put the spring like on top of or on the sides of the barrel just because it doesn't work very well and honestly like the knockout singled for half length is still more than good enough. We just would rather have more ammo. Yeah. Um. There we go. Um, so internals. <laughs> um, I filled in the ball, the, the ball storage with some epoxy putty. It's a little messy, but it's on the inside, so I don't really give a shit. Um, it's messy on the outside, too. It's a little messy on the outside, <laughs> but it's all right. <laughs> if you hold it at a certain angle in the light, it's almost not there. Um, the It's super simple. We just cut out the ball storage, cut out some of the other stuff that was just sticking up and smoothed everything down. So, you can move this back if you want. We thought this was going to be easier just have it right against the front plate here. It would look kind of nice. And it sort of looks nice. Um, really tight fit. Everyone's like, how are you doing it? It's just friction fit. Mm -hmm. Just like on my Sharp Fire, there's not really a need for having a mag release. Having the mag release is nice and whatnot, but for this sort of thing where the breach is not going to be open for very long since it's mainly yeah. opening and It also it. gets held in place by the barrel. Yeah, it's... it gets held in place by the barrel when the breach is closed, and then when the breach is open, there's not really much to, like, have it fall out. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it's just honestly really simple. We put some 916ths in here in the barrel and have it seal into where the air restrictor normally is. Mm -hmm. Into the plunge tube so you don't have to deal with any of the o-ring at the breech. Yeah. And, whatnot. and um, we cut the barrel down into here so we could p cut the 916ths and make a slot for the mag to go into. I just took a little bit to line the mag up and kept cutting until it fit really nicely in. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> It needs a little work right in the front there. Just a little bit. Yeah, currently there's feeding issues where the dart that's in the mag, the head will catch on the front of the breech. And so we just need to sand that back a little bit and the dart will pop in just fine. Yeah, and we it's E-taped into the barrel. It's just all really simple stuff. You could do it too if you want the, the singled um, knockout with more ammo. Um... 
yeah, it's really, there's not much to talk about here. Um, super glued this onto here and yeah um uh, all the locks removed and whatnot the lock <laughs> oh yeah that's a good point the lock is <laughs> removed lock. um it doesn't really stop you very much but i feel the trigger pull gets a little cleaner once you remove the lock yeah and it just it's it slides right up on in there and it's flush with the top <laughs> just yeah, <laughs> it's it's uh, it's hard to state how easy of a mod this actually is. Like, it might be a little hard for like a brand new modder, but I mean, if you have a Dremel or like, I don't know, I'm sure you could even do this with like a hacksaw. Just you have to cut out the barrel and the ball storage and a screw port, mm -hmm. and you're basically done. You can make it look cleaner. If you want, you lose what this one screw point now, uh, and that one there. Yeah, still fine. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Other than that, it's just a really easy mod. I'm getting. Well, I was getting until it started being a little shit. I was getting <laughs> like 140s, and we cronied a little bit ago and got what one, 120. And like that was with a foot of 17 30 seconds. We've been asking around what people have been using for like their barrel length and how to how long to cut the barrel, but we didn't want to cut the barrel down since he has an upgrade spring on the way. It would be better to wait, put the new spring in there, and then see yeah. how long we need to make the barrel then. Because then once you get that, then she should be steaming. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know the position I would use this in. It'd be a fun primary. Also be a, a great secondary for like outdoor wars. Um, sort of like the Mauser fire, but knockout. Um, I could run this as primary, definitely. Yeah, you've ran the Kronos that is the manual breach. <laughs> yeah. Before. Which we don't have a video of that yet, but once I fix it. <laughs> Once I fix it, <laughs> it there'll be a video about it. It was, uh, it's off, this is off topic, but um, I even think this came out, Jacob and Chris made their um, chrono mags like basically the same time. Ours was for full links, his was for half links. Fed and chambered a dart while priming, whereas mine you had to prime and then cycle the breach. But in more along the lines of having to do multiple steps like priming and then cycling the breach, not really that slow. It definitely, it sure is slower than uh, doing it both in the same motion. That's why, personally, I wouldn't really make one of these and whatnot. That's why I never really ran the Chronos. Once I mean, hey, you, I think you forgot something, bud. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but they're they're still definitely usable in a war, and especially if you can get this thing hitting, like hitting hard and accurate. You don't have to play as aggressive. But you can run a really light loadout with just this pistol. Oh yeah, like, definitely. Know. That's what I was doing with the the Chrono Mag. Mm -hmm. I would just run that as my primary, um, and it slapped. Like uh, <laughs> I, I was able to keep up with people running like full auto overvolted hyper fires and rapid strikes and whatnot because I was just more accurate than they were. Because mm -hmm. fly flywheels like inherently are not accurate or as accurate as springers i should say yeah especially not as accurate as a scar barrel springer mm -hmm. firing darts <laughs> um but all in all really simple build uh we'll post another video once tucker gets his new spring and fixes up the feeding issues i think she'll be good to go oh yeah once you get it open we'll give him a close-up of that snazzy pink guy. Did you did you take the halves apart? Mm -hmm. Nice. I was about to say I was like either you did a really nice job of taping off the handle or no, they just pop apart so easily. There's not yeah. even like pegs that hold them together on most things. You mm -hmm. just sort of have to pull them apart. Yeah. So the black handle is unpainted. That's just how it came normally. And then he took off the upper part. He painted it. It's a little bit of a dark paint job on camera, but in reality, it's much nicer. It's just a flat back base. And then Tucker's standard blood splatter red all over it. And it looks pretty nice once you get into it. I want to go in and paint the orange bits silver. 
just to sort of match the overall aesthetic because yeah, I think match, the silver, the, rest of your the, the silver, especially in such a small profile of the knockout, would make it look really clean. Oh, you know what you could do? You can make a stencil for your TP and put that right there. Oh yeah, and silver. That could be cool. I'm gonna cover up some of the smudges right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he'll probably also end up making once he gets the copper barrel set up. He'll probably make a scar and then maybe just another like shroud on the brass so that way it's easier to grab and. I might even go with a Merlin. Ooh, you've never made a Merlin before. I've attempted it once, and it was very shitty. <laughs> You're actually tested? No, it broke. <laughs> You're like, oh, I made the tines too thick. I'm like, I'll make them thinner. <laughs> and then I've made them too thin. <laughs> oh, another segment, guys. We fixed the chronograph, more or less. More or less. Now, when you actually turn it to the on but on side of the switch, it turns, it turns on. on. It's amazing. <laughs> We've had issues with it, but I think that's more on us than the thing itself. Yeah, we broke some of the connector pins, so. Oh, I don't really think I saw that. showed you guys, but I have three ACC half links and two worker half links. And just so stuff doesn't break, I'm gonna be shooting our little owl. Little owl dude. Uh, can I set it up for you? <laughs> oh yeah. Bar uh, yeah. Barrel goes in. You have to go slow. That didn't feel like I chopped the dart. But let's see it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, like Pekka was saying with uh, the issue with our chronograph, is every time we stand it up, some of the wires connect and it doesn't work. But you just leave it laying down. I got an error. Yay! No child, nice. Uh, but yeah, when, when we're laying it down flat, it seems to work nicely. So we'll just be doing that for our chronograph and then we'll just tell you guys what it says. It popped up, I heard it. Ooh. Oh, I was feeling a chop. Yeah. This is this is what Tucker was talking about. The dart head catches on the breech and then the back part comes up and she closes the breech too quickly. It chops it. My bad worker. I'm gonna rip the head off so you can keep that for later. <laughs> Snack for later. <laughs> Mine's fine. Sure. All right, so we're shooting an ACC again just because that's how the order's going. 170. Wow. Yeah. 170. And this should be a worker. I'm going to manually load it in just, yeah. just for the sake of testing. Mm -hmm. um, the, the mag chambering doesn't fix change performance at all. It just <laughs> speeds up the rate of fire. 154. 154 makes sense. Workers are a little bit heavier than ACCs. Mm -hmm. And let's go. Last one is an ACC half length. Put it in. And 168. 165. 165. I was so close. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get a better shooting gun. It keeps falling over all the time. Uh, so averages of 163 on the chronograph. I'd say that's fairly good, especially with just stock spring right now. You could, with the stock spring, he could probably shorten the barrel a little bit and get better performance. I'm hoping for 200. But yeah, once you get the upgrade spring in there, maybe this barrel will be good to go and ready to just drop, <laughs> drop some shots, especially with a Merlin. Ooh. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. Man monsters refreshing. <laughs> Hashtag ad. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Uh, I highly recommend you guys, if you want it, go make yourself a MagFed knockout. Um, DM us or leave a comment with a question if you have any issues, if you choose to go this route. And, uh,. Subscribe if you haven't, like the video if you liked it, leave a comment, and we also have a Patreon now, so why don't you go check that out at Patreon slash Mod Bros. Uh, it'll help us make more content, get more nerf guns, get newer nerf guns, and do bigger mods. So, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!